Hi. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to differentiate the uh, ways that you can separate texts or extract texts from a certain cell. So let's talk about the most common, I guess, uh, function that can extract texts from a certain cell. For example, here, I want to get the year start from my employee code. So I will be using the function left because the year is on the leftmost part of my cell in A2. And then comma, then I have to indicate how many characters I want to extract from that cell. So in this case, I want four characters from cell A2 starting from the left side. So I will be uh, getting this. So I got 2016. That's the four leftmost character of cell A2. Now it's also true if you're going to use the opposite or mirror function right. We're in, we're going to again get the cell and then identify how many characters you want to get okay, from the rightmost part of A2. So in this case, I want two characters and close. And enter. And now we have the right function extracting the two rightmost character of cell A2. So it's referring to this. So from the right side, we extract the last two characters. Now, if you want to get the middle segment, let's say in this case the 398, we can use the mid function. So mid, and then you get the cell A2. And then comma, we want to indicate how many characters okay, we're going to, or uh, at which point should we start getting characters from. So how many characters should we get or should we start from the left? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to start from the 6th character of my uh, value. And I hope you realize that even the hyphen is included. So anything that is found in the cell, even a space, is included when you count Okay, for this argument. And then the next one is how many characters are we going to get? So we need three characters from the sixth character okay, of cell A2. So basically that's what the mid is uh, doing. So enter and you have 398. So those are the three most basic ways to split okay, this one. Now... There are other ways that you can split characters in Google Sheets. Like for example, what if I have different number of characters in my segments? What if I don't have the same number of letters for every department? So unfortunately, right, cannot do it on its own. Of course, there are other solutions, longer solutions that can solve that with the right function being the main function. But Google Sheets has a, a formula or a function that can do um, solve that kind of problem. And that's the function split. So the split function will allow us to extract characters from cells okay, using a certain character. So in this case, I will have cell A2 and I need to indicate what the delimiter is. What is that character that separates the segments that I want to get characters from. So uh, that would be the hyphen. The hyphen is the one that separates the three uh, segments of my employee code, for example. Okay, and then that's it. So I'm telling Google Sheets to split the value of cell A2, okay, using the hyphen as the delimiter. So if I hit enter, Split will cascade or spill the answer to the other cells. And just like that, we already have the three columns. We do not have to create each argument one by one. Okay. And you don't also have to count. So if, for example, I have a department that has three letters, then the split function will have no problem with that. But my 
write function is now being problematic because it's designed only to be specific to two characters. So that's uh, the difference. Uh, however, take note that uh, Excel doesn't have the split function. Okay, so if you transfer this file into Excel, this formula will not work. However, in Excel, it uses a different one. It uses the text split function. Okay, so same arguments, but instead of just the word split, you have to type the formula or the function text split. And that's how Excel will, and uh, this is the equivalent of split in Excel. Now, another way, if you're not the type of person who likes to use formulas, is to use a tool called text to columns. It's another tool in Google Sheets, which is also found in Excel, that can also separate uh, values. Okay, so let's hide this in order to be a little more, less cluttered in our screen. And I'm going to highlight the values from this cells, so A2 onwards, and then go to data. Under the data tab, you should see there, there's a, a button that says split text to columns. So just click that. And Google Sheets sort of like tries to detect what the separator would be. So in this case, uh, it's trying to detect automatically. And let me see if it's here. I think I, I hid it. Okay. So let's do that again in a separate cell. So copy this and then put it here. Okay. So I'm going to do that again. So highlight the cells and then go to data and then split text to columns. So Google Sheets sort of like failed to detect automatically what the separator should be even if it's quite obvious. So we're going to um, help okay, that function. So instead of detect automatically, we're going to use custom. So custom, and then you have to type the uh, character that separates the segments of your text. So in this case, the hyphen. And you will see that we now have separated the values of that column into three. And now you can just click anywhere in the worksheet and you now have the values separated. So one key difference, if, uh, if you're going to use the uh, split text to columns, is that it will replace the original data compared to the split function wherein you retain the original data under column A. And you have this cells okay, that gives out okay, the different result. Another key difference is that if, you're go if you are going to use a function, split, or even the left, right, and mid, if there are changes in your values, say I'm going to change this employee code, then this formula-based solutions will update accordingly. On the other hand, you cannot do that anymore okay, in your split text-to-columns approach because the values, the original values, have been replaced by the results so those are the different ways that you can separate values from cells i hope you see what's most useful uh, for you based on your situation if you're watching this video because this is something that you have to do and that's it i'll see you in the next one